number 15. Number 15 is a doozy. It took me a couple times to figure it out. I'm going to tell you this. While you're making your graphs for each one of these, that spacing is key. If you mess up the spacing and you make it look all wonky, it's going to be hard to figure out what the points are and your answer could be off. I did it several times and messed up my own answer. I had to get real precise about how I was making my little graph to be able to figure it out. So uh, just try it. See if you can figure it out. If not, here we go. Okay, this is the problem. It's not written correctly. In order to solve it with a graph, we always want it to be y equals, and then the rest, with an x value here to give us direction on where to go. So you need to change both of these into a thing where it starts with that y equals. And you know how to do that. You know how to do that, so just try. All right, I trust that you paused it and you figured it out, and this is what you came up with. So you're going to simplify them down into this. This is what we want from that one. And this is what we want from that one. Those are the two that you're now going to use to actually graph out. Okay? Okay. Hopefully you've paused it and you figured this out. Um, if you haven't, it's okay. Check this out. So. I think I confused myself. Give me a second. Okay, figured it out. Boy, this is really where it comes into that spacing issue, especially when your graphs get larger, like figuring out the spacing and just trying to keep yourself on track. Oh, okay, so hopefully you got it. If not, it's okay. It took me a while too. But here it is. So these are the two that you were graphing for. So make this line that started at one. We started here. We went up four over one. It's the same as going down four over one in this direction. You're gonna be making that diagonal line like so, that connects all of these points that are up four over one, down four over one, like that. That's this line. This line starts at negative five. That's this one right here. Starting at negative five there. That's my green pen. We're using some green pens. Negative five line starts here. And that one we're going up two, over one. Up two, one, two, over one. That's the same as going down two, over one in this direction. That's the line we're making with this one. And we're trying to find where they connect. So from here, we're still going down two over one. We'll start here, down two over one. And that connects at that point. That point is right here. So this is the y would be negative 11. And the x axis, which is here, that one's going to be at this one. So that's one, two, three, negative three. So your answer for this ridiculously difficult problem is negative 3, negative 11. You can plug those numbers back in. So like if y was equal to negative 11, it should equal to 2 times negative 3 minus 5. And of course, that works out because that would be a negative 6 plus a negative 5, making your negative 11. And that is the correct answer for number 15. I hope this helps. I love you so much. I love you so much. Um, many, many more videos to come to help you out with other problems. But these were easy. You got this. You know what you're doing.